Greetings and salutations. We're back looking at episodes of Yu Yu Hakusho. We're looking at episodes 11 through 15. So let's look at episode 11, Hard Fights for Yusuke. Um, this episode came out on May 4th, 2002. Well, the, you know, the dub that they came out. Following Yusuke's first fight, Tunike moves the series semi-final round to an ancient battleground where spirit energy overtakes the body, making it the best place to use spirit power. So far this episode was pretty good in that it showed how Yusuke was in both fights for the episode, whether it was using a cigarette as a way to, you know, how we could say, okay, there's my opponent because this um, battlefield battle sequence is in the dark, so he can't see anything. Or there was a moment where, like, you know, like, you know, him winning was just down to pure luck. And that, um, like, you know, when he's going against the ninja dude, um, like, you know, he's, he's, like, trying to, like, you know, get away from the shurikens. So he ends up just, like, when he's about to, you know, f run against him, he falls into, um, like, a, like, some water. And then that's how his enemy blows up. So, yeah, that... Um, you can see how, in a way, uh, Yusuke is, in a way, like, can you, you know, be a battle strategist, and at times just lucky. But, yeah, I thought this episode was pretty good. So, let's look at episode 12. Rando Rises, Kubabara Falls, May 11, 2002. Kubabara and Shorn face off in the semifinals of the tournament, which goes directly into the final match with Yusuke. However, when all seems said and done, and the winner about to be declared. I kind of like Kubabara when he like uses his spirit sword to send Shorin's uh, battle blast back at him like they're playing baseball. And the fight seems to go well for Kyobara, but Shorn shrinks, shrinks him down to the size of a bug. I'm curious about the strength of bones after they've shrunk. I'll start with the right arm. That's not fair. He's treating him like a rag doll. There's even Mortal Kombat injury, injuries in this episode. The emotional moment when Kyobara says he'll keep fighting is dramatic. Well done. But at least we get to see Yusuke beat the shit out of Shuren at, at first. And then he eventually does. And he eventually does. Well, hell yeah, though. But Rando isn't down. Not a bad episode. Number 13. Yusuke versus Rando. 99 in tax. January 9th, 1993. Yusuke confronts Rando. But, with Yusuke's spirit energy depleted, the only question in everyone's mind is how long Rando will toy with his winking prey before delivering the coup de grace. So this episode is pretty great in that the fight scenes for this one are pretty awesome, and the idea of, of a very dangerous fish called, I think it's called hate fish, are pretty cool. I do like how, in a way, Kyubara basically insults Yusuke so much that he ends up fighting back, getting his spirit energy back. How's this? Better? Is this boring you? Or is this? And Yusuke uh, beats Rando with the spirit gun, but sadly that's not th not the case. Like he's just like saying, "Okay, they're both spent when it comes to their energy," but uh, Rando, silly name, um, he ends up having to winning, almost losing the fight because he tries to do his little like say, um, like, like you know, bit of energy magic or something like that to try to say a spell. But it reverses back onto him, causing him to shrink to the size of an ant. 
So overall, this episode was pretty good. I liked it. And grow up again. Then suddenly... Number thir 14, The Beast of Maze Castle, May 25th, 2002. After six months training with Ginky, with, uh, you know, Ginnikai, Yusuke returns home, but there's more, no time, but there's no time to rest. Spirit world's most notorious criminals, the forest, St. Beast, petition for immediate immigration to the living world. To force the issue, they send a continuous stream of spirit world insects to the living world that turn humans into murderous uh, zombies. Directly, Yusuke is on the case. So I thought this episode was pretty good. I kind of like in the fact that after the whole tournament ordeal, um, Kubabara and Yusuke have, you know, finally become buddies, become friends, and that, um, like normally they say, uh, Kubabara would just like, you know, like, give him a punch on the head, like, you know, just like, ha ha, buddy, and all that stuff. But Yusuke, but in this one, like, it's more of like, say, come here, noogie buddy, and all that. Like, when they are going to say, okay, um, oh, you like your friend, huh? Like, and so they, but, let's see, they don't know, they're being chased and all that stuff. Um, I thought the fight sequences for this episode were pretty good. The, um, creature designs for it were pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I mean, then again, like, say sometimes the creature designs can be similar at times. Because, like, sometimes the... Demons of fourth episode are similar and all that. So yeah, I mean, I kind of thought this one was. So yeah, I thought this one was pretty good. So number fifteen. Ginbu, the Stone Beast, June the first, two thousand two. And during the gates of betrayal, Yusuke's team meets. Oh, uh, like by this by team, I mean, um, both Ihai and Kimura, I believe. Um, they basically are having. To, they basically end up meeting them in the previous episode, so now they're part of the team. And the first four Saint beats a turtle-like monster of rock with a few special powers beyond the expected. This one was pretty good. Um, I kind of like the fact that we also get some moments with like all the characters like when they are all having to push up the wall as like you know like the starting to come down onto them and i think i still think yeah like when he's like slashing and dashing and all that stuff it's really cool he's a very interesting kind of cool kind of cool character he's kind of like the moody um badass i guess i could say kind of deal and yeah, the episode was pretty fun. Same old trick. Watch for his tail! <laughs> He's getting attacked from both sides! <clears throat> Where'd that freak go now? Uh... Yeah. Overall, not a bad episode. Like, like when ever it comes to, like, say, all the characters, like, say, okay, now we're having to deal with you. Cuba Barra is, like, saying, hmm, I don't know these guys. But okay. Um, oh, are you sure we can trust them? You're a meshy? Okay. And all that. So, not bad. See you next time. <laughs>